How to set up an invoice template in QuickBooks. Hey everyone, my name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University and I wanted to show you how to easily set up an invoice template in QuickBooks. So we are here with QuickBooks Desktop and you know QuickBooks comes with a lot of default invoices uh, in other forms, you know, just in their own format. But a lot of times, you know, most people, at least a lot of the people I meet, business owners want to customize those invoice templates and even set up their own so that it, it just creates, you know, a, a better look for the company. And so that's what we're going to talk about in this video today. All right. So first, what we're going to do, you go up to the list menu up here and you're going to see an option here that says templates. And you can see here there are lots of different this is a sample company file so when you go into you know a new company file there there will be some templates in there just the standard templates that it comes with but you can set up your own templates now what you can also do is you can edit any one of these that's also in here so custom estimate if you want to edit it you just click here and you say edit template or you can delete them make them inactive etc this video we're going to start from scratch we're going to do our own invoice template so what you're going to do down here you can do one of two things you can click here and click new or you can go up here and right click and click new all right so it's going to bring up the screen let me bring it over here and it's going to say okay what type of template are you creating of course we're going to choose invoice now i encourage you uh, play around with these other ones so if you have other uh, forms or templates you want to set up, you definitely can do that. In this one, we are looking at the invoice. Now, the the process is going to be the same in any of these. So let's click OK. And I want to bring this screen over here. And it starts with this basic customization. All right. So this says selected template, copy of new invoice template. You can go down here first and you want to say logo. So if you want to use your logo, I've got this one here. I'm going to add my QuickBooks University small logo. I'm going to click open and you'll see that it shows up right here on the preview. Okay. So you can load your, uh, upload your logo and include it on your invoices. Now the color scheme, if you want a different color scheme than just this black, they don't give you a ton of options, but let's say we wanted to go with maroon. Uh, we, do that and you'll see there it changes to a maroon printing. Now most people are emailing these so the color will come through, but if you're printing these just on a black and white printer, it's still going to print as black and white. Now, next thing, uh, what we can do is you want to change the font for, let's say, the title, which is the invoice up here. You can do that. The company name. To me, that company name is very small, so I want to change that. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make it 18 and it makes it much bigger. So to me, that just stands out more than that small default font that they have with it. I'm gonna leave the address and the labels as is uh, because those fonts seem to work pretty well. Now, if you wanna include certain things on there, if you wanna include a fax number, you know, phone number, email address, you can see it's putting these boxes down here. We can always move these around. I'll show you in a minute, but I like to include phone and email so that if people have questions, they can contact us pretty easily. If you need to update that information, you can do so here, and it's going to bring up the company information box that I am dragging over here. So you can see you can change all this information if you want to change it on the invoice. So we're going to leave that as is. And then down here, I always like to choose print status stamp, uh, which just tells people that, you know, if there's paid or pending, received, void, so on, uh, it'll print a status stamp. You can also choose print past due stamp. So when it is past due, you can send it to somebody and it will show a past due stamp on here. So we'll just leave that checked for now. Now, the important thing, once you get all these basics done, uh, are down here. You've got additional customization, and then you've got layout designer. So first, we're going to choose additional customization. And you'll see here that it you get to choose all sorts of things that whether you want to see it on the screen or just print. Now, some of them are grayed out. It doesn't show it on the screen, uh, but you can choose the print. So all of these, if you want to say, okay, default title is invoice you can change the title to your invoice. Okay, just using an example here. So you see it changes it up here to your invoice. Now you've got date, you've got invoice number. 
Now, I don't need a PO number for what I'm doing, so I'm going to take that off, and you'll see that it disappears here. I also don't need the project, so I'm going to take that off, and it puts my terms right over there. Now, I've got my description quantity, rate, unit of measure, and amount. Now, I don't need the unit of measure, and so I'll show you here in a minute how to get rid of that. Now, if there's any other things on here, of course, you probably don't want to put your birthday or your spouse's name on there, but you can choose if you need ship date, ship via, account number, rep, due date, all sorts of things that you can choose. And when it says screen right here, that means it's going to show up on the screen when you're preparing the invoice. And if you don't choose screen, it's just going to print it when you actually print the invoice. Now, if we go up here, we go to columns you'll see you'll have a whole other range of items to choose. Now, we don't need the unit of measure, so I'm going to take that off, and you'll see that it takes that off of the column. If there are other items that you need, then you can add them here, okay, color, material, etc. And you can change the order how you want the columns to show up. So we've got the item, the description, the item is actually just on the screen. It doesn't print because this is your item number internally. If you want it to print, you definitely can. But so we've got description, quantity, rate. And so you can see here we've got description, quantity, rate, and then we've got the amount. Okay, so that's going to show up last. Now, progress columns. If you do progress billing, you can add different columns here. Same with sales order columns. If you uh, use sales orders in QuickBooks, you can customize right here. On the footer, you can put a customer message. You can see uh, down on the footer that it will show. You can have the subtotal, sales tax, total, payments, and balance due. And then you can add customer total balance, uh, which is the original amount, or the job total balance. You can also add a long text, which is a disclaimer. Now, if you go over to print, I suggest you use the invoice printer settings from printer setup, but you can also change that, print the page numbers, and if you want to do trailing zeros to add additional decimal points for, uh, usually it's going to be for quantities, uh, then you can add that here as well. Okay, so once you get all of this set up, what you want to do is you want to go to the layout designer. Now let me pull up the layout designer, and I'm going to pull that screen over here. So this is where uh, you can start moving some things around. So you'll see here this kind of greenish blue space. This is supposed to represent uh, a envelope and the windows in an envelope. So you can see that we're off a little bit here. And so we want to kind of pull this in just a little bit, maybe make it a little bit smaller and you just drag things over. Okay, Rock Castle Construction. So I may have to go in and change the font on my Rock Castle construction because it's a little bit too big. What I could also do, I can move this over here and I can put Rock Castle construction and just move this over and then of course have my logo at the top. It doesn't need to show through the window, but they'll see it when they open here. All right, the bill two, you can see that's all lined up. That's good. And we've got the date invoice number, terms, et cetera. We've got everything that we wanted on here. Now, it's very easy to move things around. So like I said earlier, uh, if we wanted to move the email, we can do that here. And if we want to put the phone number right next to it, we can do that, of course, right here. And then you can also, if you like to, you can add an extra text box, a data field, or an image somewhere on here. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this. I think it looks good. Uh, this is what I'd like to start using. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click OK. And it's going to take me back to the additional customization. So I'm going to click OK again. And it's going to bring me back to the basic customization. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK. And you'll see my copy of new invoice template right here. Okay, so that's it. So when I go into, let's say I want to create um, a new invoice, we're going to say customers create invoices. And instead of the rock castle, I want to use my copy of new invoice template. You'll see it says your invoice. And this is where the screen items will show up. 
And then once it's completed, I can print it and send it. I can email it and I'm good to go. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to leave those below. This was a very basic overview of how to set up an invoice template in QuickBooks, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.